For today's demonstration I will be demonstrating how to set up grading system at CIAS Learning Management System. To start the demonstration, the user must first open the school's CIAS Learning Management website. But for my demonstration I will be using our company's demonstration website via icloudph.com slash CIAS. After navigating at the school's CIAS Learning Management System the user must click Administrator button. And enter the user ID and user password. After entering the user ID and user password, the user must now click login button. Upon clicking login button the system will present the CIAS Learning Management System main user interface. Now the user must navigate through files, learning management and grading system. At the grading system, do take notice that it has five sections. Terms. Components, grade transmutation, grade conversion and grade system in which a user will suppose to add a record per section for the grading system. But our system has already finished setting up each section for the grading system. But let me walk you through each section. Number one, is the terms. The terms contains the grades for the number of quarters per semester and also contains the final grade. Number two, is the grade components. Grade components is the basis for the grades whereas it contains the quiz, attendance, recitation, seat work, assignment, project, lecture, laboratory, periodic exam, written works, performance task and quarterly assessment. Number 3 is the score transmutation. The score transmutation sets the passing score, minimum grade and passing grade per grade level. Let's take for example, senior high school, whereas our system has set up the minimum score to 60, minimum grade to 60 and passing grade to 75. But the user can edit or update the stated scores and grade based on the school's policy. Number 4 is the grade conversion. The grade conversion is used to convert grades representation based on the school's policy. The grades can be represented as percentile or numerical. At the system this is the default values for the grade conversion but the user can edit the records based on the school's policy. Number 5 is the grading system. The grading system contains the percentage rate of students' outputs. Our system has already set up the grading system by grade level but the user can edit or modify each record depending on the school's preferences. After the user has finished setting up the five components of the grading system, the user must now set the entry schedule for the grades per quarter. Navigate through transaction, then grades and select entry schedule per level. Upon selecting the entry schedule, the system will present the entry schedule user interface. For my demonstration, I will set the period for the first semester of school year 2020-2021. And set the level to senior high school. For the number text box I will input number 1, since we will create the schedule for quarter 1. Upon entering number 1 the disabled fields for description will enable. Now I will enter quarter 1 at the description. Then for the rate we will set it to 50%. Why? Because considering the selected level which is senior high school and considering the period for senior high school, the senior high school students have two quarters per semester, quarter 1 and quarter 2 for the first semester. And quarter 3 and quarter 4 for second semester. So for a semester for the senior high school one quarter is 50% per semester to complete the 100% for the whole semester. Now I will select the grading system. At the grading system the user will be given choices percentile, numerical, reverse numbering and letter. And for my demonstration I will select percentile, but the user can always select or enter the grade system based on the school's policy or based on the user's preferences. After the grading system the user will now input the dates for the quarter. There are three dates to be entered. Number 1 is the start date. The start date represents the date in which a teacher or an instructor will be able to enter raw scores for the students. Number 2 is the end date. End date represents the deadline or last date for a teacher or instructor to be able to enter the raw score of the student. And number 3 the show grade. The show grade represents the date in which the grades of the student will be showed or will be viewed. Here is the summary of start date and end date for each quarter that I intend to input. This is only an example, but when entering the dates the user must always follow the school's policy. Now please observe as I enter the dates for quarter 1. The dates that I am entering are only examples. 
but again, do take note when entering the dates the user can always enter a date based on the school's policy. After the dates has been entered, click Save button to save the entered schedule. Now that the schedule for quarter 1 is done we will now input the schedule for quarter 2. Please observe as I enter the schedule for quarter 2. Same steps will be followed but the user must change the number to number 2 and change the dates for quarter 2 schedule. Now that we have completed the two quarters for the first semester we will now input the final grade schedule. Please observe as I enter the schedule for the final grade. For the final grade the user must set the number text box to zero, then set the start date and end date and lastly the show date. Now that the grading system and grading schedules has been set up, I will now demonstrate how to input raw score at the grading sheet with the computation of the grades per quarter and computation of final grades. First things first, to input raw score a user must be an instructor. And as an instructor the user must log in to the school's CIAS learning management system. The instructor must enter the user ID and user password. And click login button. Upon clicking login button the system will present the main user interface for the instructor. Now that the instructor is at the main user interface, the instructor must navigate through transactions and click grading sheet. Upon clicking grading sheet, the system will present the user interface for the grading sheet. Now the user must select a class to enter raw score. And upon selecting a class the system will present the enrolled students of the selected subject. And after selecting a class the user must now select a quarter to enter raw scores. For the inputting of raw score, I will use quarter 1 as the model for the demonstration. Click terms and select quarter 1. Upon selecting quarter 1 the system will present the grading sheet for quarter 1. Do take notice that it has two components abbreviated as WW and PT. WW is the written works and PT is the performance task. For my demonstration, I will first demonstrate how to input raw scores for the written works. Click Configure button to open the component details for quarter 1. At the component details, it allows the user to configure and enter details for the written works and performance task. Now for the written works, I will now add the an online quiz done by the students, select written works at the component text box, and now select a quiz. After selecting a quiz, the system will retrieve the data of the selected quiz, and do take notice that the short description and maximum points has been filled up since the quiz is online. Now I will enter number 1 at the number text box, and click save button, upon clicking save button the system will automatically update the grading sheet for written works. At the grading sheet for quarter 1, the system will automatically retrieve the scores of the students. Now please observe as I enter two more online quiz. Now that the demonstration for online quiz is done, I will now demonstrate how to add a written work but the instructor will manually input a score. For example a seat work that the students has done but not online. The instructor must click configure button and select written works at the component, and must leave the test text box blank, and now add the description and score, and lastly click save button. Now the instructor can give scores manually. Please observe as I enter grades manually. And with that the instructor has successfully added a written work with scores inputted manually.
Now I will demonstrate another written work that an instructor can input score manually. Now that written works is done, I will now demonstrate how to add performance task raw scores. For my demonstration, I will add recitation, reporting, lecture and group work as the components for performance task. To add these components the user must click configure button and enter performance task at the component details, then leave the test text box blank and enter the description and also enter the minimum grade and click save button. Upon clicking save button the system will automatically update the grading sheet for quarter 1. Now I will enter the other components by following the same steps. Please observe as I enter the other components. Now that the performance task has been added, the instructor can now enter the raw scores per performance task. Please observe as I enter the raw scores. With that the raw scores for written work and performance task has been successfully added. After the score has been added the system will automatically compute the final grades for quarter 1. With the grades computed at quarter 1, the system will also update the grading sheet for the term final grade. Now for quarter 2 same steps will be followed by the user but do take note that the user can always configure the components based on the school's policy or based on the user's preferences. Now suppose that the user has already entered the grades for quarter 2. The system will automatically compute the final grade and will also indicate if the student passed or failed. Now that the final grade has been computed successfully I will now demonstrate how a student will check his or her own grade. First the student must log in at the school's CIAS learning management system and navigate through report and select term grades. Upon clicking term grade the system will present the grade of the student. With that our demonstration for today is finished. Thank you for listening and have a nice day.